Vandalism. What is it? What's the difference between vandalism and street art? This is vandalism. I think most vandalism we probably think of is scrawled words on a on a building or on the back of a toilet door. That's just a word. It's a little bit more artistic than something that somebody's just scrawled on a wall. I would class that as street art. And I suspect the difference between street art and vandalism is perhaps the word permission. Do you have permission to scroll whatever you're going to scroll on that wall? But that's not always the case. <laughs> Was Banksy, or is Banksy, a street artist or a vandal? He's not a vandal, he's a street artist. And the, 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 the word artist is important here because art is all about making us think something or imparting some sort of emotion as we look at it. We might feel sad or happy or whatever. It makes us think, and certainly as far as Banksy is concerned, history art makes us think. A lot of the street art that you see is just, for me, it's a joy to behold. You look at it, it kind of brightens up your day a wee bit. It's colourful. It doesn't necessarily have to make you think. It's just nice and colourful, and you think, yeah, that's pretty nice. In fact, just here, <laughs> I'm on a cycling motorway here, I think. Um, used to be a really good bit of street art uh, during the COVID pandemic when we were only allowed a kind of short venture out of our house. And there was a lovely kind of uh, portrayal of a, a COVID virus. But it's gone, it was covered up with something else, which I think was also pretty good. But then it was covered up, and street art's very much a transient thing. It comes and it goes, it gets covered over with stuff that was better than what was there before. And sometimes it gets covered over with stuff that isn't very, wasn't as good as what was there before. And then sometimes it gets covered up by vandalism. Somebody just scrolls some nonsense um, over the top of it. This video is all about the Glasgow murals trail. And Glasgow is awash with, um, Art. There's just art all over the place in the street. In addition to the murals trail, there's also, I think, um, what's called the Thornwood Mosaic Trail. Little kind of bits of pottery arranged in an artistic manner, stuck on walls here and there, which most people aren't going to notice. And I just think it's lovely. You know, you're walking around and you suddenly see a little bit of art and you think, well, I just love it. So as I say, today this is about the Glasgow Murals Trail. Not far from here, by the railway arches, there is a whole load of art by a kind of uh, an art centre there. Not sure if art centre is the word, it's a whole kind of range of buildings that are focused on different types of art, whether it's music or whatever. Um, that's not part of the Glasgow Murals Trail, but my goodness, the art there is just uh, pretty much out of this world.
Well, I thought we'd end here and, and govern now. And, um, you know, what a wonderful way to brighten your day. I'm Eddie Burns. Take care.